Jin, Hyungi Shan, Doji Young. Here we are, guys, on Atlantis Spaceship and our first Zerg player in the purple, or I guess I should say violet. He always picks this color. <laughs> it is none other than Violet himself from Team Empire saying GG Yo, start of the game. And looks like our other Zerg player from the team, NS Hoso, Seal, responding with GG Yo in English. So, yeah, this is the phonetic GG, though, from what I understand, right? That's, that's, or something along those lines? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Right, well, it's if uh, if you use Korean characters to write out something that sounded like GG yo when you said it, you know? Right, that's, yeah, yeah that, that's and what the, I understood. That the yo be. on the end makes it more polite, too. Yes, because yeah. it's not the, um, I guess, what's the character that's, because obviously WW is the one when they're using an English keyboard that comes out because that's where the, the GG key is. Or uh, Yeah, well, you know, it's it's kind of a variation. Sometimes you see them hit GG on the English thing, but they accidentally type the Korean character because they've got it set. Sometimes they type the Korean character, but accidentally type the English one, <laughs> WW, but uh, a lot of times you'll see them just type the uh, the J sound too. And it's just like GG. Interesting. All know? right. But if you want to be polite and kind, you type GG Well like that interesting out go. of seal now though is he's actually doing a double extractor trick after a super quick pool so um yep. gonna go ahead and finish up with that and well no actually it looks like not a double extractor trick just a single extractor trick and a gas coming up at the same time so uh kind of a weird variation to get 10 pool 10 gas and a couple of extra units out there won't be able to produce, of course, until the spawning pool is finished because he's got to wait for that Overlord to get done. Yep, this will get him very, very fast Zergling speed. And uh, we've seen other players like TSL Hyun do things like this as well. Mm -hmm. um, this is something that you kind of see off and on in Korea. Um, and it's a way just to get some Zerglings into your opponent's face very, very quickly. Oh, and if your opponent goes hatch first like Violet does, you've got a good chance of doing some decent damage with that too. So yeah, this could be pretty effective. Yeah, the pool only wow. going down now, and Eightling's on the way, and as soon as he's got that 100 gas, he's going to start Zergling speed. And when you've got that sort of maneuverability so early on in the game against your opponent, you can just micro them to death, you know? You can kill their spawning pool, you can do all sorts of mean, nasty things to your Zerg opponent. All right, Violet, we'll see how your control looks, uh, what your control looks like right now, because he does see the Zerglings coming across. We'll see how he prepares for them. If he shifts any drones down, uh, or if he gives up the expansion even, we'll find out in a bit. I'm sure he's going to try and defend that. Does put down the uh, extractor trick there, and he's going to need some Zerglings stat. But his spawning pool, still 12 seconds away from finishing. Yep, um, you know, actually, I think he just canceled that because he knew he would need the minerals for Zerglings and spine crawlers and things like that early on. Mm -hmm. Don't need gas quite yet. Oh, almost catch some of those links in a surround. Ooh, would yeah. have been close. That would have been a very nice maneuver from Violet. He does have a couple of links coming up now along with that queen. So uh, we'll see if Seal just decides to head down and start going after the expansion. Looks that would like be he the best is. Yeah. Yes, indeed. So Hatchery has come under fire. And we're going to see if Violet has enough to respond to this, pulling a few drones off the line in addition to the links that are just popping up right now. And that does pull Seal off for a little period of time. Seal is, of course, producing a few links behind this as well, just continuing with that. And now there's six links out for Violet. And it looks like he is going to hold on to the hatchery at least for the time being. Yeah, eight more links on the way, though. And keep in mind, Zergling's speed is about to finish yes. as well for Seal. So that was only phase one. Phase two happens when Zergling speed kicks in. And then you just hit them with a gigantic amount of Zerglings before they can really react to it. Yeah, Spinecrawler going down right now for Violet. He's retaking his gas again. But it's going to be a tense moment with all those Zerglings come in. Oh, no, and Violet moving out on the map with what is going to be a much smaller force of Zergling than his opponent will have. Yes. Only if Steel's not paying attention, though, he's going to lose some of these links. Oh, man. Yeah, loses Steel. two links there. Uh, but here comes there phase two. Yep. You were waiting for it, and link speed is done. We can immediately see the difference that that makes because yep. Violet is probably going to get all of these surrounded. Looks like he is just going to stand in there and fight and delay for as long as he possibly can. A couple yeah. more uh, spine crawlers, or just one more spine crawler coming up after this one. He has blocked his ramp and uh, eight his own hatchery there for just a second. He's got to watch out. Oh, nice. Mineral walking, I at least thought a few of those units through there before. Spine crawler already has three kills. Queen's starting to do some damage as well. So Violet going to try and hold on his best. He can. He is still not mined any gas quite well, yet. Still working off of those slow wings. Unfortunately for Violet, he's actually dead, and you'll see why in just a second. Wait for it. Wait for it. Oh, look. Yep. Some more Zerglings here. Bye -bye. Oh, nice transfuse on the queen. I got to say, though, Violet yeah. holding this off a lot better than a lot of Zergs would be able to. Man, I'm a bit surprised, actually. Yeah. Violet uh, holding that off pretty well. He's still behind, certainly, and there's more Zerglings on the way, but he's kind of weathered the storm so far here. 
All right, and he's starting another spy crawler right now. Let's go ahead and take a look and see if uh, Seal can continue finishing up this all-in. He is, of course, just working off of 11 workers right yep. now. Uh, so Violet, with those two spine crawlers, if he can get those established, is going to be in a fairly decent position, but it's still going to take some remarkable control out of him. Yeah, as we can see from the uh, larva count back on that unit tab, on 11 drones, you can certainly afford to keep making nothing but zerglings with mm -hmm. that. But you're right. I mean, Seal's getting, getting into a situation now where Violet's got enough links to stabilize and even with speed he's not going to be able to get in and do too much damage all right well there we go now a spine oh, crawler we'll is up as well a second spine crawler oh, power to go. finish seal sneaks his way into the main it looks like violet is just going to run out of there with his drones immediately yep. tearing after that spawning pool now but violet does have enough links that he can start coming up here and uh, trying to chase a couple of these links off the spawning pool is taking a lot of damage though yes it is but i don't think he's going to be able to get it nope just barely not you actually do see spawning pools killed quite often because of that lack of speed uh -huh. And you can see, yeah, just the maneuverability that it gives you. Seal following this up with a Baneling Nest as well, so he's not done quite yet here. No, another 10 links actually better to make their way through, but he is losing links one at a time right now. This is yeah. uh, not working out too well for him right there. We'll see how many Banelings he starts. It's probably not going to be with these Zerglings because those no. are just going to get chased down. Yep, he's actually going to get, you know, Violet used to chasing his links around, and then he's going to try to draw those links into the Banelings that he's morphing mm -hmm. outside of his base. This is pretty common to do. I mean, Seal's all in. He needs to kill Violet, obviously. So he's going to do everything he can to do that. Probably going to poke at the spawning pool here for a moment. Yeah. Yep. Will he be able to go through the uh, three spine crawlers that are up at the front now, though, for Violet? His links are just getting so low now. Yeah. Violet is holding this off pretty well, but here comes the next phase of Banelings. We'll actually take a look at those real quick. Sitting up at the front, and here they come. Three uh, spine crawlers already sitting there. A bunch of links on hold position to, to provide a wall, though. And the Banelings finally break on through. The spine crawlers have done a little bit of damage. We're going to see if this is enough for Seal or if uh, Violet Ooh. can actually hold on here, trying to move some of those drones away. The Queen is going to fall. No chance of that staying up. Yeah, I think he's going to manually detonate a couple of them here. Yep, manually detonating a couple just to take out those drones. Uh huh. Seal's still in a great spot in this game here. Ooh. Only one Baneling left, though. And, oh, he's uh, going to get the pool, too. Violet trying to take that down. The spawning pool is down to 100 points of health and falling 70, 60, 50, and wow. dead. But the Baneling has gone down. Uh, the Banelings have all gone down. However, Violet is going to need another spawning pool right away. Yeah, Violet can only make drones right now. That is it. He can't even make any more spine crawlers. Mm -hmm. Yep, more lings on the way. You can see on the minimap a big group of Zerglings and Banelings being gathered outside. So Seal, you know, just doing this uh, 10 pool build exactly right. Just, you know, using that speed to outmaneuver his opponents. All right, well, uh, Violet has been uh, holding on in a miracle fashion for so far, but he is starting to slip behind a little bit. It looks like Violet was actually able to finish up a couple of Banelings, yep. though, turn some of the existing Zerglings. Maybe he can find himself a favorable engagement there. Oh, Violet actually oh, going to make his way out! Oh, my God! Oh, wow. That would have been... Oh, that was so close. Manual detonation there, and I that would have been a complete turnaround. Very nicely done by Seal, though. Oh. That was close, man. Oh, oh man. He had a heart attack in the spawning pool out in the open here, too. But it is right next to the spine crawler, so that's a good place to put it. So right. now Seal's got to be like, all right. Oh, Seal actually making drones, too. Okay. Yes, he is. So he's going to try and go around this. Violet almost gets himself yep. a good kill of the Banelings there. And he has started to slowly stabilize. Don't forget, he is working off of two hatches, so he'll have a little bit better production at his disposal. He is still up in workers overall as well and matched his opponent in tech. Yep. But Seal's still got a lot of stuff sitting outside. And yeah, generally the next phase in this is you go up to, up to about 20 drones or so, and then you expand. So we'll have to see if Seal decides to do that or if he's just making a few more drones just to kind of produce things that much quicker. Oh, nice. Good win there for Violet. Picked yeah. off one Baneling there for just a single Zergling. He is just continuing to drone up and has already started mining once again. Oh, oh He's so close to getting himself. Um, all right, there we go. Takes out two Banelings and two right. Zerglings. So slight advantage for him. And he's pressed ahead by nine supply now. His yep. opponent is trying to expand, but Violet, man, he's looking good. Yeah, um, the one thing that Seal does have going for him is that he was able to kill enough drones that things are still even-ish. I mean, mm -hmm. yeah, he's still behind, but it's not hugely, hugely bad. Yeah, I've got to say, though, Violet, you know, I asked how good is his control going to be at the beginning of this game, and he has shown me that it is still incredible, and he is playing in top form. Yeah, absolutely. Well, there's a reason that Violet's out there winning tournaments.
Yeah, you're you're That's absolutely good. right. Second extractor coming up now for Seal, so he's going to move to quite a bit of gas production. Actually, same thing coming out of Violet, and even be his third gas. It looks like it is over at the Natural. Yeah, well, we'll see if these guys decide to just go for like a plus one Roach timing off of this. There's the Engineering Bay. Engineering Bay. There's the Evolution <laughs> Chamber for Violet. The Engineering Chamber. Yes. The Evolution Bay. It's OP. That's right. Get building armor for those hatcheries. And uh, a lair right away for Seal. So I think we're actually, uh, we actually might see Mutalisks from Seal. Very possible. Yeah. As he uh, probably wait on uh, future gas here in just a second as he does finish up his second hatchery. Now Queen running out across that. Yep. And uh, uh, let's go ahead and take a look back at Violet's side of things. He's up by 15 supply now. He's got his Roach Warren forming up at the front. He's got a beautiful defensive position set there. And he is now up by 14 workers, 50% more than his opponent. Yeah, that's not bad at all. Um, it looks like Seal's starting to save up for whatever he's planning on making next. Mm -hmm. Whatever the second phase of the Alm is going to be. Yeah, taking four gases, I think we're definitely going to see Mutalisks out of Seal. We're going to see that Spire thrown down as soon as the Lair finishes. Then he's just going to save up and try to make as many Mutas at once, surprise his opponent, finish the game that way. All right, well, Violet's actually chugging across with a few Banelings now, maybe trying to catch his opponent a little bit off guard. But, of course, uh, Seal can see this, so he already moves a couple of Queens up to the front now. And he's trying to be as cost-effective as possible. Two Banelings for two Banelings. Loses two Banelings by itself. Not really getting a lot of damage done there. No, that was defended very well by Seal. And, yeah, the Spire is on the way now, so he's not going to make really too much else. He's going to make a few drones, but for the most part, he's just going to save up to get a big amount of Mutalisks. Oh, check that out. Violet is so smart, man. I mean, he's like, all right, I think I know what's going on here. I'm yep. going to put down an infestation pit. And let's Bumble actually... Those mutas. He did see gas already over at yes, the natural, as a matter of fact. Oh, and look at that. Now he's going to make his way in with this Overseer. Yep. That no Spire's going to get revealed. Yeah, and he also didn't see a Roach Warren in the front or anything like that, or an Evo Chamber. Not seeing either of those two things is a big tell that your opponent is probably going to go Mutas. And not to mention, Mutas are just really, really popular in ZVZ right now as well. And uh, let's see, Pathogen Glance is already being started right now. And, and uh, wow, actually, a nice job by Violet of going ahead and clearing up his supply this entire time as well. So we'll be able to go into mass production of units off the two bases when the time comes. Now on 63 workers to 40, he kills his opponent's Overseer. He's got a lot of tech sitting on these two bases, so looking pretty good. Changeling gets in for Seal, though. Takes a look around. Yep, now here's the thing. Um, will Violet have Infestors out soon enough to deal with these mutas. You can see six on the way. Remember, five is a magic number to kill workers. And six infestors on the way for Violet now. So it looks like he will be ready. Those infestors should pop out fairly soon after the mutas get there. And spore crawlers as well. Yeah, Violet expanding. Oh, nope, not expanding. That drone's going to die. But yep. even still, Violet looks like he's going to be in okay shape here. Yes, he is. Five is a magic number. It sounds like a schoolhouse rock song. That's right. But, uh, all right, well, this is a magic work killing number. <laughs> Five, it's a magic number. And we got a few Mutalisks flying overhead now. Uh, start picking away at the spine crawlers. The infestors are finished, though, and they do have a fungal growth ready uh, to go. Oh, no. Dropping out Whoops. beautiful fungal well, growth and see all that's that's going to hit him over and over again that's a bunch of dead mutas yeah exactly that and that also represents a gigantic investment just getting taken out by the queens wow roaches and infestors yeah, so violent he basically has nothing to worry about now he's really far ahead on supply at this point and he also knows that he's really really far ahead on tech and things he's like all right yeah, I mean, go ahead and make mutas at this point. <laughs> it's, it's not a problem for me, so. I'm going to go ahead and say that, uh, you know, a lot of times it's thrown down. This is the greatest performance of whatever that I've ever seen. This is the best hold and turnaround in a ZDC that I believe I've ever seen. I mean, Violet played this just magnificently, uh, especially coming back from the position of going yeah, to a 10-pool speedling build uh, against a hatch first. Unbelievable. All right, now he runs up with a bunch of uh, roaches. Looks like those may get caught. The Banelings softening those up a little bit. A lot of Zerglings are going to die, but uh, they will be able to slowly win the war against these roaches. Yeah. A little bit surprised Violet decided to move out like that. Uh-huh. Ended up working okay. Seal controlled that very nicely. Mm -hmm. But with this next move out with the Infestors in tow as well, I think the results could be a bit different. Yeah, very much so. Let's see. Oh, my God. That's a lot of Banelings, though. Oh, man. Wow. Yeah, all right. Okay, this is cool. Um, so we're basically just going to see a huge amount of Roachling from Seal at this point, which could theoretically do pretty well. 
All right, well, let's see. The Banelings rolling into oh, the Roaches. That, oh. that was a lot of dead Banelings, though. Yeah, that was maybe not the time that he wanted to use those specifically. No, unfortunately not. We have another task force from Violet around the right-hand side. He's double the supply of his opponent now. And a uh, cute little Changeling sitting there GG. as well. There's the GG. And Violet takes a game back for Empire. Puts them 3-2 to two in this set. What an incredible performance from Violet. Yep.